Unit Three, Lesson One, Reading. Objective: I can read a photo blog. Reading skill: I can make predictions to understand a text. Activity One: Look at the photos of Emma's blog. Discuss the questions with a partner. One. What do you think it's about? It is a blog about Emma's adventures in Canada. Two, what kind of person is Emma? Emma is adventurous and sporty. Three, would you like to be her friend? Why or why not? Yes, I would. It is because I am adventurous and I would like to do sports with her. Activity two: Read the blog quickly and check your answers to activity one. The fifth of January. Hi, my name's Emma. Welcome to my blog. I live in Vancouver, Canada. It's a fantastic city with a beautiful landscape. We've got the sea, mountains, forests, and lots of wildlife. Have you ever seen a big brown bear? Canada is the perfect place for sport and adventure. This year, I'm going to write about all the cool adventures I have. I hope you enjoy my blog. The tenth of January. Today I went skiing with my family at Whistler Ski Resort near Vancouver. I love skiing. We go every year. My favorite ski run is called the Ice Monster. It's really fast, and the views are amazing. Stay with me and follow all the cool things you can do in Canada. It's a really fun place. With lots of exciting activities to try, I've never travelled in a hot air balloon or visited Toronto before. See you later. The twelfth of June. I've never been kayaking before, so I tried it this month. It's similar to canoeing, but a kayak is much smaller than a canoe, and your paddle has got two blades. We went to a kayak school in Ottawa, the capital of Canada. We practiced for three hours with an instructor, and then we travelled down the Madawaska River in our kayaks. It was really exciting, and the scenery was amazing. The eighteenth of August. We went to a hot air balloon festival near Montreal, Quebec. With over two hundred different hot air balloons, people had to fly the balloons at six o'clock in the morning and six o'clock in the evening, when the wind was strongest. We woke up early today and went for a hot air balloon ride. I could see the whole countryside. I thought hot air balloons were really quiet, but they aren't. The flame is really loud, and it's hot too. The first of September. It's my fifteenth birthday, and we're in Toronto, Ontario. I wanted to do something special, so we did the Edge Walk around the top of the CN Tower. It's the tallest building in the city. It's five hundred and fifty-three meters high. We had to wear a special hat, jacket, and gloves, and practice with an instructor. Then we were tied to a bar, and we walked around the outside of the building. We were three hundred and fifty meters above the ground. I went with my best friend Charlene. It was terrifying, but we loved it. It's the most exciting experience I've ever had. Let's learn the vocabulary. One, flame. The hot orange part of a fire. 
There were flames coming from the cooker. Two, instructor, a person who teaches a skill. We've learned a lot from our swimming instructor. Three, landscape, a large area of countryside. I live in the countryside, and the landscape is beautiful. Four, scenery, the natural features of the countryside. Many tourists visit the island for its beautiful scenery. Five, view, everything that you can see from a particular place. The view from the top of the mountain is amazing. Six, hot air balloon, a type of transport with a large bag of hot air and a basket which people stand in to travel into the sky. My dad is going for a trip in a hot air balloon for his birthday. Seven, the activity of traveling in a kayak, a small boat similar to a canoe. We tried kayaking on the river for the first time yesterday. Eight, paddle, a long pole that you use to move a small boat through water. Be careful you don't drop your paddle in the water. Nine, skiing. The activity or sport of moving over snow on skis. I love skiing in the mountains when there's lots of snow. Ten, wildlife, the wild animals that live in a particular area. They saw lots of wildlife on the African safari. That is the end of the lesson. To do the exercise, you may click the link in the description box. Do like and subscribe to see more lessons like this. Happy learning!